So I get it, bro. We've all pretty much at one point in our life have seen that sort of Chad guy, haven't we? A guy that you hate, but you really, really want to be like. You see him and he's on Tinder and you see the way girls talk about him. You see the way people look at him, people respect him. And to you, you feel like you've been dealt hard done by because he just, people like that just seem to live life on easy mood while you're constantly getting rejected by girls girls who are so attractive to you aren't even looking at you and don't even think you exist you know you're going on pretending to be the chad or like i said you're pretending to be the girl and you're getting all the likes you know you're pretending to be the maybe sometimes you go on tinder just to see what your competition is like so maybe you, you go on pretending to be that hot girl to see the type of guys that who are on tinder their photos and how they're structuring their profile to attract women and you realize bro that like you don't mean shit and that how far you really are behind in the spectrum of the sexual marketplace and the chances of you actually being able to get the life you want and attract the woman you want is extremely low because pretty much you're so far behind this race you know you've tried working out haven't you maybe you haven't even hit the gym yet maybe you've been contemplating it for so long you're so unhappy with your physique, you look in the mirror and you can only feel a sense of shame and disappointment but you choose to hide it so much and it makes you so sad and depressed because you see all these fellas that seem to just get everything they want in life, all the things you want in life. Why do they get to have those things and why can't you have them? It all comes down to this. I'm going to tell you my story bro. Whenever I was very young, I was a skinny loser. I was a skinny loser and you know, genetically, like I said, uh, I am very grateful. You know, I'm not a bad looking fella, but my physique was skinny as hell. I looked frail, skinny. I, I noticed a lot of people would make fun of me a lot, disrespect me. Like, I wouldn't say bully me, but like a lot of people didn't really give a crap about me at all and never really sort of noticed me in the world because of my, of the way I was built. You know, I was this young fella who, like I said, wasn't bad looking in the face, but because I never worked on my body, and because I like pretty much every piece of piece of clothing I wore just hung off me. You know, girls would disrespect me. I would barely get, I struggled so much attracting women, bro. You do not understand. I like, I lost my virginity whenever I was 20. I think, no, I was 20 whenever I was lost, whenever I lost my virginity. Like it took that long for me. Whereas you see the, you know, the genetically gifted Chad guy who comes along and he's lost his virginity at like 15, 14. And he's been banging girls ever since. Whereas men like us who are watching this and we're so unhappy with our physiques, we can't, we struggled to get a few likes on Tinder, you know, we struggled to attract any sort of woman in our life and we felt like we were so far behind and it really, really led us down a bad way. But I want you to realise something, bro, before I get into this. You should be glad and happy right now in life that you are like this, that you hate your body and you hate yourself. Hear me out because it will cause you now to go on this path to build yourself up. Whereas the Chad, the guy that you look at, those sort of fellas who are banging all the women right now, that's the highest their lives will ever be. They've sort of peaked already. You haven't peaked yet, but they've already peaked and their lives are only gonna start going down from, from now on. Later on in life, because they don't really need to work on themselves because they've been genetically gifted or they've just, they're just built different as men. Later on in life, because they've never really put anything into self-improvement or taken care of themselves properly because they don't really need to because they've just been given a lot of shit on a silver platter. Later on in life, they're start gonna get dad bods, their hair's gonna fall off and they're gonna look far uglier. So right now, bro, that's the best they look, but you are starting to build that character now. You're starting, you're now at the bottom, but you start, will, you will start going up. And once that happens, you now know the skills to maintain that. Whereas the Chad, who never had to learn any harsh lessons in life to build himself, he's going to crumble in years to come. So remember that whenever you're going into this. This is pretty much the best. I don't see there being a better guide for any young man to build the physique that he wants. This is, I, my opinion, this is the best guy you'll possibly ever have to listen to. You know, I don't say that a lot with a lot of shit I do, but I can really will take pride in saying this, that this is the best guide you will ever need to know about to actually build muscle and genuinely get the body that you want. Because this debunks and de deconstructs a lot of crap in, in, the fitness in, in, in the fitness industry that a lot of YouTubers say. In this video, I'm going to show you everything and go into pretty much step-by-step -step autistic detail how to build and craft this the aesthetic physique that women crave this is a physique bro that if you were if you were to build this and you actually were to take this seriously and implement these things that i'm going to teach you about if you were to actually take this seriously for the rest of your life your entire world 
will change. Everything around you will change. You know, for me, I started hitting the gym four years ago and I started going through all the trials and tribulations of building muscle and building my physique. And there's a lot of crap that I listened to that, that actually damaged me. And there's a lot of lessons I've learned from it. And I can wholeheartedly say that this is genuinely the best guide on YouTube right now for building the, the aesthetic physique. Like, I'm not joking, bro. This is like some shit out of 300. Like, you are going to have like some Spartan physique over here. One thing you need to realize is there's two different physiques you can go down. You can get the bulky bodybuilder physique where you look like a goddamn Roblox character, or you can actually get the next one. Do not aim for the big bodybuilder physique where you put on a shit ton of muscle and a shit ton of size. And like I said, you look like... You look like Steve out of Minecraft walking about, you know, all stiff and everything. Do not chase that physique. And I did that. So I did. For four years of my life, I chased that big, blocky, bulky physique. And I'll show you on screen right now. It just, yes, I got bigger. And it was enough for me to sort of change my life in a way because of how skinny I was. But it was nothing compared to what I'm doing right now. You need to realize that going for the big, blocky physique of a bodybuilder, it's not attractive. It only is, it's only, this is gonna sound really gay, but it's only attractive to men. You will notice you'll get far more, you'll get far more attention from men than you will girls. But we want both. We want attention from, we want the respect from men and the attraction from women. We don't just want the, the attention from men over here, right? The reason why you shouldn't aim to have that sort of big, bulky, blocky physique is because it's sort of a smokescreen, okay? Once you do any activity in life, you gas out, you have zero stamina. You have zero stamina, you have zero mobility, and all you really do have is just a lot of weight on your shoulders. Like, actually, you're just a big blocky monster, you know what I mean? Sludge, just walking about. And yes, like I said, you are a lot bigger. It just damages your life overall. This isn't just building a physique. It's being able to build a physique that allows you to do so much in life. Being able to actually, like, go for runs, have the stamina, being able to be light on your feet, being able to go into like boxing, mixed martial arts and actually be able to be, you know, mo mobile and capable and dynamic. You do not want to be going for the sort of big blocky bodybuilder physique because the people who tell you to do that, all those juice heads online who tell you to eat big to get big and bulk and, and, and aim for the big blocky bulky physique and put on as much muscle as possible and get huge. Those people will probably die of heart attacks in the next three years. I'm sorry to say that, but look how many bodybuilders, bro, are dying right now of heart attacks. It's because either they're full of steroids or they've chased that big, blocky, bulky physique that is extremely unhealthy. The physique you want to aim more towards is the aesthetic physique, the sort of UFC fighter physique. Look online and look on, look at some UFC fighters, right? And look at some of their physique. Charles Oliveira is a very good example if you want to look at him up. And he is an extremely good physique because he's lean and he's big, but look how athletic and mobile he is. Like we want to train like an athlete here. You want to basically like put your mind and train like an athlete. It's like an athlete's plan because you want to have a lot of muscle on, a good amount of muscle on, but you also want to have lower body fat, but you don't want to look big and blocky. So I will show photos up on screen. I will do all that there. You want to train like an athlete. You want to start building muscle and you want to lose that body fat. You want to aim for the physique where you have wide shoulders, wide broad shoulders and a skinny waist and obviously jack legs, of course, bro, come on. That's the physique you want to aim for. And before we get into everything else, I'm going to go through training and mu muscle groups to train and all that there. Don't worry, bro. Diet and sleep and everything. But what you also want to realize is that how important your posture is as well. I want you to focus on, yes, focusing on building your aesthetic physique. But one of the most key components about building a uh, aesthetic physique is building your posture as well. If you're somebody who has rounded shoulders, you need to fix that massively. And I will go through that. But I'm, I'm just keep in mind to focus on your posture as well. The first proper thing what you want to do, the first step I want you to take is I want you to go on Google and I want you to type in calorie calculator. What you want to do is you want to fill out all the details on the calorie calculator website and it will give you your maintenance calorie level, right? So what, what, what maintenance calorie means is how much calories you need to eat to maintain your body fat. So let's say you type in the details and it comes out saying 2,500 calories, right? 2,000 calories is how much calories you need to consume 
to maintain the current weight you are now. Let's say you ate 300 calories above that. So that's 2,800. That is the perfect range if you want to bulk. So that will put on muscle on your frame right now with minimal fat. Anything over that 400 calories, 500 calories over your maintenance will just be adding more fat. So 300 calories above your maintenance, for example, if it's 2,500 and then putting 300 on top of that comes out at 800, doing that all the time, that's bulking up. So adding 300 calories above your maintenance is the perfect way to pretty much add muscle with minimum fat gain. Because you will you will add on fat, bro, if you are bulking up. It's You can't stop it. But doing having a, having a good diet and eating 300 calories above your maintenance will put on the minimum amount of fat possible to the point where maybe it's not even recognizable. And that's called lean bulking. Dirty bulking is when you eat 300 calories above and you just eat shit. You just eat McDonald's and Big Macs and ice cream. And yeah, you're eating 300 calories above and you still are putting on size and you still are getting big, but you're putting on way more fat with that muscle. So your physique turns out to be big, but there's no definition and you're not lean at all. And that's where you do get that big bodybuilder, bodybuilder bulky physique, where like I said, you look like you're walking around stiff as like you're gonna shit yourself 24 seven. 200 to 300 calories below your maintenance. So that will be 2,200. That is where you will lose weight with minimum muscle loss. So if you eat 2,500 calories, right? And that's your maintenance level. And you then start eating 2,200 calories, you will start losing body fat pretty much. You'll start losing body fat and you'll start losing weight. If you do it properly, you will do it in a way where you lose very, very, very little muscle in the process. You do not want to lose weight and muscle at the same time because you'll just look frail. So you can see what we're, go what we're getting at here. Once you do that and you find your maintenance level, you need to realize, do I need to bulk or do I need to cut? So to figure that out, what you want to do is you sort of just want to look at yourself in the mirror, bro. If you're skinny, like you actually ha are just skin and bone, you want to bulk up. If you are overweight, right? Like let's say you, let's say your calorie calculator comes out at three, 4,000 calories and you're overweight, like you actually are fat, lose weight. So what you want to do is you want to eat in a calorie deficit. Calorie deficit is eating two, is eating 300 calories below your maintenance. A calorie surplus is 300 above, okay? so. What you want to eat is you want to basically cut down. So if you're overweight, like I said, you want to eat 300 calories below that maintenance level if you're overweight. Now, if you're skinny fat, which is a sort of term where if you're skinny, but you have high body fat levels and a lot of idiots, and I see this all the time, a lot of absolute clowns, man, will listen to all the shit advice where people will tell you to lose weight. If you're skinny fat bro, you do not lose weight. That's gonna make you look far, far worse than what you are. Because you need to realize what is what actually is skinny fat, right? Skinny fat is, like I said, where you're skinny and you have a high body fat percentage, but it pretty much means that you have no muscle on you at all. So what you wanna do is you wanna start putting on muscle. And once you start putting on muscle and bulking up, right? Lean bulking with minimal fat gain, that that chubbiness that you have even though you've a skinny frame will go away and your body will start to round out and will start to shape and sculpt as i like to say into that sort of physique that we're looking for so if you if you are skinny fat bulk up put on size because your body needs that muscle if you if you, you know your body doesn't have that muscle but it has a skinny frame but it has a load of fat so all that fat's just sitting on your skinny frame that's why you're skinny fat if you start putting muscle under all that fat then there you go like your it starts to build out your frame and there, like all the fat that fat starts to go away so make sure to bulk i can't stress that enough if you are skinny fat the next thing what you want to do is once you find your calories that you need to eat so let's say like i said you find your maintenance level and you've decided uh, whether you're going to bulk or your cut based on the physique that you have right now what you want to do is you want to download my fitness pal okay i know there's some other probably some other apps out there but this is just the most trustworthy one that i always use and it's the best one in my opinion download my fitness pal what you want to do is once you download it onto your phone is you want to scan the barcodes of all the foods that you do eat so it can track all your all your all your food if you're not willing to do this process bro you're going to struggle massively i know there are other ways where you don't really need to track your food but like right now in life you want to build this physique and you want to do it perfectly like step by step autistic levels right here so follow this plan okay later on in life whenever you already have this physique and you know you're sort of a lot more experienced with it then you could stop 
tracking your food because you sort of already know what to eat and what not to eat. But right now you don't. You're a bit of a noob at this shit, right? So how do we actually build this aesthetic physique that I'm going on about? So you need to realize that there are nine crucial muscle groups that you need to focus on that are going to build you that aesthetic physique that you want to craft. So what are those nine muscle groups, right? The nine muscle groups are your neck, your traps, your delts, your triceps, your upper chest, your hamstrings, your quads, and your glutes. Only focus on those muscle groups. I actually forgot to say lats as well. Sorry, work on your lats as well. I forgot to say those. The reason why you should focus on all of them. So your neck, pretty much the reason why you should focus on your neck, bro, is because your neck is, your neck just makes your face look a lot more masculine. If you ever see fellas, I'll show you a photo up on screen where you, you see people who are in good shape but they have skinny necks. It just looks very strange. Once you see that fella who has that sort of masculine strong neck, it does it just makes their face look just look so much more, like I said, masculine. And women notice this and it's it's part of the whole structure. Next reason is your traps. So your traps and your delts, aka your shoulders and your upper chest, once you work on them they pretty much widen out your upper body. They make your body look like that sort of upside down triangle look where you have the skinny waist and the wide shoulders. The reason why you should focus on your upper chest, not your lower chest, is because if you focus on your lower chest and neglect your upper chest, like everyone else does, like every other guy does, you sort of get that sort of like saggy tit look where you have a very flat upper chest, but like a sort of defined lower chest. And it looks very, very, very strange. Then the reason why you train obviously your delts is because your delts, pretty much give you that sort of big arm look. If you ever see girls will sit there and be like, oh, you know, I like his big arms. Or you ever see girls who like, who obsess over fellas who have those sort of like jacked arms. Funny enough, bro, everyone thinks it's their biceps. It's actually not. I see so many fellas who will just start grinding out bicep curls thinking that you have to get big biceps to get big arms. No. If you want big arms, bro, it's your triceps and your delts. Your delts pretty much take up a large majority of your arm. Once you really round out your delts, you will have huge arms. Like, you will start filling out them sleeves. As for your lats, your lats, like I said, give you that sort of V-tape look where it gives you that sort of skinny waist. Now, if you don't focus on your diet, you won't really get that sort of V-tape or look. You'll sort of get that sort of square-shaped physique look where you'll have a sort of blockier waist so make sure you you hone down your diet and i will cover diet later on in this video next thing is your legs the reason why you work on your glutes is because here's a here's pretty much something that i know a lot of guys are gonna be thinking about whenever i said train glutes well, they're gonna be like oh bro that's gay bro fucking you know only girls train glutes to train their ass oh it's gay bro honestly man shut the hell up the reason why you're meant to train your glutes is because do you ever see UFC fighters or especially football players like Cristiano Ronaldo is do you ever see Cristiano Ronaldo's legs and he has that massive tree trunk leg sort of look the reason why his legs are that wide right the width in his legs that's what your glutes give you and that's why you look at play you look at like athletes and they have these big huge legs that every guy looks at and wants like let's be honest man and the reason why that is is because once you sort of get stronger glutes it widens out your legs it gives your legs that sort of width what are the actual exercises for each muscle group that you should train if you're a noob in the gym this is perfect for you if you're somebody who's starting to take the gym a little bit more serious this is also perfect for you so listen out okay so for your neck if you want to train your neck what you want to do is you want to put a tile over your head and you want to get a little weight and put it on your forehead lie at the end of a bench and just start doing neck it's almost like neck curl ups i don't know the actual name for it but i'll i'll show you stuff on the video focus on doing that that's the best way to train your neck no questions asked bro so to train your traps next what you want to do is you want to do face pulls and you want to do shoulder shrugs now face pulls are especially important to do because once you do face pulls it also not only improves your traps and grows your traps but it also improves your posture because it gives you, it stops you from having that sort of rounded shoulder look where your shoulders are sort of protruding forward and you have that forward neck posture. So for your delts, what you want to do is you want to do side lateral delt raises and you want to do rear delt flies, okay? Middle delt pretty much takes up like 50 to 60% of your actual shoulder and your rear delt is the second biggest muscle or maybe, maybe that's, it's the first, I actually don't know, but don't focus on your front delt. So your delt has three heads, your front, middle and rear. Your middle and your rear are the only ones you should be focusing on. The reason why is because 
your front delt is the most overdeveloped muscle that you will be doing in the gym because pretty much bench press or any sort of pushing motion in general will work your front delt so you don't need to focus on it so focus on your middle and your rear delt so side that side delt raises and rear delt flies so to come on to upper chest what you want to do is you want to do incline bench press or incline dumbbell bench press so moving on now to lats the next thing you want to the exercises you want to perform for that are the lat pull downs and pull ups pull ups are especially important for training this to get this physique pull ups deadlifts rdls all that there sort of stuff they're sort of the more compound movements which pretty much mean there are movements where you're not just hitting one muscle group, you're hitting multiple muscle groups. So for triceps, what you want to do is you want to hit your tricep push downs and dips. Dips are especially a real painkiller, so they are. They really, really, really grow your uh, your triceps really fast. So like I said, make sure to do tricep push downs. And yeah, once you do those two exercises for your triceps, your triceps will just explode in growth massively. So moving on now to hamstrings and for hamstrings specifically, you want to hit RDLs, which are called Romanian deadlifts. So it's deadlifts, but it's Romanian deadlifts. Like I said, I'll show it on screen. And then you also want to hit squats as well. So RDLs and squats are the perfect exercises to hit your hamstrings. So for your quads to really get that definition in your legs, what you want to do is you want to only hit squats and lunges. Do not do leg press or any of those stupid pussy machines because like i said a lot of them will actually cause you more joint pains and injuries long term than actually doing you any good do these ones the ones where you're actually doing the most movement and mobility and actually training like an athlete like i said remember i said at the start train like an athlete so lunges and squats you know think like think like old time spartans you know or gladiators whenever they were training like these people weren't doing leg press bro your squats build up your hamstrings, your glutes and your quads, all three. So squatting is the most important thing you can do. Make sure to get really good at squatting, get really good at your form on squatting because it will build up your entire leg foundation. And to finish off, your glutes, which you want to train is hip thrusts. So hip thrusts are very important for building out your glutes. All right, bro, so moving on now to diet. So you've got the calories, you know whether to bulk or to cut, and you now know what muscles to, hit, to focus on and you know the exercises to train. Now, once you've done all that, is diet. All I can say to make this simple, bro, is the best advice I can give you is eat high protein and zero sugar. The, the less sugar, the better, okay? If you spend the rest of your life eating zero sugar, bro, you will massively see huge differences in your physique. You will drop body fat like there's like there's no tomorrow i'm not even joking make sure to eat zero sugar like very 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 little sugar because sugar is the reason why you have a high body fat percentage sugar is the reason why you're fat and unhealthy and you hate your physique like sugar is the enemy here get rid of that crap so you want to focus on eating meals where the ingredients where the ingredients on the packaging is just one ingredient so potatoes for example sweet potatoes or chicken steak like that all that there all those sort of foods are the ones that you should be eating stop eating all that crap where it has like 50 different things on the ingredients stop eating processed sandwiches or wraps or crap like that there are chicken nuggets like a four-year-old and stuff like i said where it has like 50 different things on the ingredients label only eat stuff like where it has one ingredient on the ingredient packaging so if you're still a bit confused I'm going to actually show you a good suggestion to have for your breakfast, lunch and dinner that you can sort of follow and you can actually implement your own sort of things on top of it as well. So the third step to building this aesthetic physique to round out everything is your sleep, bro. If you're a young man right now and you're going to bed at like one, two in the morning, like you seriously need to fix this shit, bro, because honest to God, the reason why you need sleep and why sleep, in my opinion, is and why sleep is pretty much the most important thing to actually build in the physique because you can eat the diet you can have the best diet in the world you can have the best training you could be literally going into the gym and blowing and blowing the gas out every single time you could be going at a hundred percent putting in as much effort as possible but if you don't have your sleep down properly or pretty much limiting your gains by 50 percent because if you really think about it the reason behind you need sleep 
is because every single night that you go to bed after the gym, all the time, you're pretty, whenever you go to the gym, you're pretty much destroying your muscle. You're tearing your muscle in half, okay? You're basically much damaging your muscles. That's what you do when you train, okay? So once you work out and you damage your muscles, sleeping pretty much is the sort of repair, rest and repair phase. Whenever you're sleeping and you're in deep sleep, right? your body pretty much starts to repair the muscle that is damaged and it grows more muscle tissue. It allows you to grow more muscle tissue. If you're somebody who doesn't get a lot of sleep, you're not allowing your muscles to repair fast enough to then grow more muscle so that you can get stronger the next time you go into the gym, which means that you grow muscle faster, obviously. If you get 78 hours sleep, it allows you to completely rest, repair and grow more muscle every single time. and you will recover way faster than if you're some loser who just goes to bed at one, two in the morning and you ha has a crap sleeping schedule. I can't stress this enough, bro. Make sure you do get eight hours of sleep, okay? Stop being sleep deprived. I mean, come on. Okay, so moving on now, I'm going to cover some other essentials that I haven't uh, covered yet. So another thing you wanna do is you wanna start taking creatine. So this is a perfect time to cover supplements in general. The only supplements you should be taking are multivitamin supplements, creatine and protein powder no more that's it do not st stop taking all that other crap that you th or zinc or all that other shit stop taking all that you know because some of them you don't even need those three especially for building muscle and acquiring this physique that you want these are the only three things that you actually need so multivitamin you can if you want to do multivitamin or omega-3 okay you know what i'll actually add in omega-3 fish oil so but omega-3 is another good one you can have. Protein powder and finally creatine. So what is creatine? Creatine pretty much is our bodies are made up of water pretty much. Creatine stores more water into your muscles. So if you take a scoop of creatine every single day, it doesn't have to be before or after you train, take a scoop of creatine, drink an absolute crap ton of water, aim to be drinking maybe one to two liters of water a day, is the perfect amount don't be drinking way over the top of that but one to two liters a day or the, is the perfect amount of water that you should be drinking and taking creatine along with training in the gym will absolutely explode your growth it's 100 percent natural but it, it's pretty it might as well be a steroid it's, it's what i call a natural steroid now to cap this off bro i'm going to give you the best training routine throughout the week and how many times you should be training a day so how many times, so how many How many days do I train a week? If you're starting off, only train three days a week, okay? Only be in the gym three days a week and aim to bump that up to five days, okay? If you pretty much are just like, if, if you're someone who's just started off, like you're a few months into the gym, three days a week and aim up to five. If you literally haven't started the gym yet, only go once a week for a few weeks and bump that up to three times and then bump that up to five times. You see what I mean? progressively overload and that leads me on to the next thing before i show you the, the training routine what you want to do is you want to mainly focus once you're training on these muscle groups and you're in the gym training progressive overload if you don't know pretty much means that if you're in the gym and you go home and the next time you turn up to the gym you constantly up the weight by either one or one either one kg or two kg so i don't know how much that is in pounds but 1.5 kg or 2.5 kg those little small plates that you see in the gym. Make sure if you are doing any sort of barbell exercise that you are constantly adding those weights every single time and you're slowly upping the weight. Also, like it's not just with barbells, but if you're doing it with dumbbells, if you're doing it with pretty much any weight in the gym, make sure you're slowly, progressively overloading in the gym. And like I said, that's where you're just gonna start constantly just seeing progress all the time. If you don't do that and you don't track how heavy you're actually going, you're gonna forget and you're going to then not really sort of make the progress that you should be making because you're gonna end up, like I said, forgetting and maybe going heavier than expected or too, or too light than expected. So make sure you track how heavy you are going in these weights. It is a lot, but like I said, with everything in life, if you wanna get the best results, you have to put in the work and you have to put in the most amount of effort into this. So the best training routine and the best, and the best training regime to have is push pull legs. So push pull legs pretty much means whenever you go into the gym, when you train, push pull legs. Push pull legs pretty much means all exercises that require pushing movements, pulling movements, and of course, obviously legs. So Monday you'll do push, which means obviously all mo exercises that require you to push weights, pull, is the same as where you're pulling weights towards you 
and pull this and and then of course Wednesday's legs. So Monday push, Tuesday pull, Wednesday legs, rest on a Thursday, Friday push, Saturday pull and then rest on the Sunday and go back at it again. And let's say you, whenever you are doing that, you want to maybe add, maybe let's say you want to train legs a bit more, well then you could maybe switch that up a bit and maybe go one week where you maybe implement legs twice during the week. It's up to you. But push pull legs, in my opinion, like I said, here's the thing with the internet, everyone will disagree with you. Everyone has their own experiences. In my experience and in my opinion, that's all I'm, I'm going off because what works for me may not work for you, okay? I understand that, but I, I can possibly give you the best. These are the best things that will are guaranteed to show, give you results because you haven't started yet, so you don't know. So it's best to try this and focus on this. And like I said, majority of the time, it does work for most people. So push pull legs is the best training routine to work on. And there you have it, bro. That's it. You now know and you now have the plan to build and craft your aesthetic physique that will attract your future wife. Because I want you to think about it, bro, right? You have a choice right now. You can actually implement these things for the rest of your life. Implement everything perfectly, okay? And listen to everything I say. And this will change your life for the better. And your future wife, who desires the body, that aesthetic body that I'm telling you how to build, she's waiting for you to build that body, bro. And if you sit in your ass and you do nothing about it, or you have asked this crap, well then there's going to be another guy who actually is going to listen to this stuff and actually put in the work and it's actually going to work for him and he's going to end up taking your future wife on you having a family with her he's going to end up taking all the things that you want bro i'm only giving you the tools necessary to build this aesthetic physique to attract your future wife bro the rest is up to you on what you're going to do with it don't waste your time looking back we're not going that way